Let's take a look at the process for submitting a new link to the community repository. So you've entered the submit link page, and the first thing you want to do since it's a link is enter the URL. Now suppose you're following Stephen Feuerstein's blog, that's me by the way, and he's entered a new blog post and you want to put it into the repository. So you go to his blog post, you grab the URL, put it into the URL, and then the next step is to pick the topic. So the topic tells us what this thing is about, and that's critical in terms of people being able to find this information later on. So I'm going to put an optimization level, or just optimization. We've got a number of hits. Let's find if we see if we can find one that's good. Compiler optimization, that looks really good. So we'll grab that topic, and then a title. I'll take that right from the blog. Optimization levels and native code generation. What is it? It's an article. I can enter the source, but chances are it's already in there. And in fact, we will figure it out for you automatically. One way to tell that is if you scroll down and look for similar links, you'll see that we've already picked up some of this information. So don't worry about the source. And then we can put in the description and you can either lift it from here or you can just type in a summary. So I'll type in a summary. Stephen Feuerstein shares insights from Charles Weatherall on the interaction between optimization levels and native compilation. Great. Estimated minutes. It's really helpful to give people a sense of how much time you think it might take for them to go through this material. And it's not very long, but it's not trivial stuff, so I'm going to put down 10 minutes for that. Difficulty level, intermediate. Minimum version, well, native compilation was introduced in 11G, so I'm going to put 11G as the minimal feature. If you're not sure of any of these items, you can just submit it, and we'll sort it out later in the review process. So it looks like I've got everything filled out. I can either save it as draft if I want to go back to it, or if I feel like it's ready for review, I press Submit for Review, and it's entered into the repository. Now let me show you one other thing. Suppose you came, somebody else came to this site and said, oh, Stephen's got this great new blog post. I want to put it in. Grab the URL, put it in, and you're immediately notified the URL is already registered, so we're going to save you time and not have you put in all this information, then be told it's already in the database. So that's how you submit a link, and I encourage you to, whenever you find something interesting out there regarding Oracle database technology or other Oracle-related technologies, come on over and add it to the community repository. Then everyone can benefit over time.